Hey there, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist, and you know what? In 1892, Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax. And when she saw what she had done, she had given her father 41. Now there's three things wrong with that nursery rhyme children used to, to uh, say, you know, over a hundred years ago. First of all, it wasn't her mother, it was her stepmother. Number two, she didn't give her mother for, uh, stepmother 40 wax. She gave her 18. One to the side, the other 17 in the back. And her father got 11 wax straight on in the face and the head. Now, where are we? Of course, we're at the Lizzie Borden Axe Murder House and Bed and Breakfast. <laughs> so yes, you can stay here. Now, this is the actual building. A few things have been changed in the renovation. They had to add bathrooms, obviously. Interestingly enough, in 1892, despite Mr. Borden being worth over $9 million as president and owner of a bank, $9 million in today's money, he had no indoor plumbing. So they had pots and Bridget the maid would take them out. So, um, so you could say that Mr. Borden was indeed very cheap. Uh, also, um, all the furniture has been destroyed. During the trial and after the trial, Lizzie moved all the furniture out to a warehouse. That warehouse burned down. But in Lizzie's room, Emma's room, and a couple other places, they have some artifacts like dresses, books, dolls, things like that. Also, right over here to my right, your left, there used to be a shed. That shed is gone. It's now a gift shop. That is not the original building. That shed played a very important part in the trial because that's where Lizzie said that she went up to eat peaches for an hour. Okay. This was in August of 1892. Do you realize how hot it was and to walk up into an unair conditioned shed and eat peaches for an hour in a heavy dress? No. That's just one of a number of inconsistencies in Lizzie's trial. But as you know, she was found innocent. Uh, nobody else was ever suspected in the murder. And you can visit this house today. They have a tour during the day, and then they have the extended recreation at night if you're a guest of the bed and breakfast. I've done it twice, I highly recommend it. So after the trial, she went across the river and moved into another home, a mansion actually. If you'd like to see it, come follow me. Hey there, okay, so we're at 306 French Street. We're still in Fall River, Massachusetts, but this is Maplecroft. This is the home where Lizzie Borden lived after the trial. Uh, she stayed in town because she wanted the nicest, best mansion to look down on everybody. She felt, you know, that she had no reason to leave but she was ostracized her entire life. Now, Maplecroft is currently for sale for $890,000. If this house was anywhere else than Fall River, it'd go for four to $5 million. It's absolutely gorgeous inside. This house has, I believe, um, seven fireplaces, six bedrooms, three and a half baths, 17 rooms total, and it is practically very, very original to what was there. There's not a lot of the Lizzie stuff in here, but they restored completely to that era. Um, when Lizzie died, she was worth 4.9 million in today's dollars. She gave a lot of that money away to family and friends, the Humane Society, things like that. Emma, her sister, only visited her once after the trial, stayed with her briefly. They had a falling out. Emma moved up to New Hampshire and uh, that was the last that those two had spoken. They had never spoken since. So if you've got an extra 900,000, Maplecroft is for you. Now, where I'm gonna take you next is the cemetery where the whole family is all together. And by the way, there's only one house more haunted than the house where the actual murders is. And that's Maplecroft. Every former owner said major paranormal activity. I'll see you in a few minutes at the cemetery. Okay, finally, we're at Oak Grove Cemetery in Fall River, Massachusetts, final resting place of the Borden family, including, of course, Lizzie Borden. Now, I could tell you 
We're at the corner of Walnut Avenue and Oak Avenue in the middle of the cemetery. Or you can just follow these white arrows to the LB, up these steps, and you're here. So come follow me. Let me show you where the graves are. This is the Borden Family Monument. There are lots of Bordens all around here. It's amazing. It's not just this family. <sighs> now we start over here with Alice. Alice is actually one of Emma, uh, uh, Emma and Lizzie's uh, sister. She's very rarely mentioned in any of the uh, stuff. This is Sarah. She was the first wife. She died young. There he is, Mr. Borden, Andrew himself. And there's Abby. These two were the murder victims. Back here, Elizabeth and Emma. And if their stones have a similar coloring, that's because they died within nine days of each other. They had not spoken for 10, 20 years, something like that, but they died within nine days, not knowing. Okay, if we take a look at the monument here, here are the children, Alice, Lizzie, and Emma. And if we come over here, here's Andrew, Sarah, and Abby. Now, a lot of is made of, did Lizzie do it? My personal opinion, absolutely. She's guilty, she killed him. Her, 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 her alibis and whatnot were all over the board. It made absolutely no sense. Eating peaches in the attic and dozens and dozens of other just nonsensical ramblings. Um, but a lot of people ask, then what was her motive? And this is a highly complex case. People have said everything from the money, $9 million in today's dollars ain't, ain't chicken feed. And also there's the sexual assault. Many people believe that, uh, that uh, Elizabeth was molested or, or sexual assault from her father. Um, some people say that doesn't, but you know, tell you what, go out to Google or go out to my website, thetombstonetourist.com. I have tons of articles, all the crime scene pictures, videos, documentaries, everything that will answer all the questions you need. Until then, I am Scott Stanton, the original Tombstone Tourist here at Oak Grove Cemetery at the Borden family plot. Have yourself a great day.